Howdy friends, Garrett Norvell here. So I've noticed recently that some producers are treating plosives, those offending B's, T's, D's, P's, <laughs> uh, with a static high pass filter or sometimes a notch filter, uh, also static, uh, at about 110, 120 hertz. Now, I will usually roll off the low end on a male vocal track at about 80 to 100 hertz. And those 20 hertz might not sound like too big a deal, but it can actually really affect the weight that your vocal recording carries. So another way to treat these offensive sounds is with a dynamic EQ. This is actually the perfect use case scenario for dynamic EQ. Rather than taking out an entire block of frequencies from your spectrum using a static EQ, you can use the dynamic EQ to just kind of tame those offensive puffs of air. The only problem is that Ableton doesn't have a dynamic EQ in its quiver. You can get third-party uh, dynamic EQs by FabFilter, by Isotope. There's even a free one by TDR called Nova. Um, the downsides are that then you're dealing with a pop-up window um, and that manufacturer's own interface rather than Ableton's really nice, clean um, rack interface. And those third-party dynamic EQs tend to be fairly CPU hungry. This issue came up in the Ableton Live user group on uh, Facebook a few months ago, and one of the members, Arthur Godlewski or Godlevsky, uh, offered some tips. I built a rack based on that advice and uh, posted it to the group, and you can download that for free in the link below. It is easy on CPU, easy on your frequencies, and easy on the eyes. <laughs> Let's take a look at how it works, what it does to your frequencies, and why it could be a good uh, tool just to keep in your belt. Okay, so uh, I recorded a quick and dirty acapella. Uh, sounds beautiful. Puff the magic dragon. <laughs> um, and uh, I emphasized the plosive right at the start, and we'll, we're going to try to tame that a little bit. Uh, first, let's just pull up a standard EQ8. And we're going to, um, we're just going to roll off at like 120 and see how that sounds. Puff, puff the mag, puff the mag. So that totally does um, help with the plosive. Puff, puff the But it also changes the weight of the, uh, the rest of the, the male vocal track. Puff the magic drag, puff the magic dragon. So that could be a subtle change um, to your ears, especially if you're on like laptop speakers. But if you're really trying to get a um, an excellent mix and the best possible recording you can, then you want to pay attention to these little subtle things. Um, so something else that I've seen done is putting a notch in there. So let's do that. Puff the magic dragon. And now we're really talking. Right, that that totally does help with the um, puff the explosive, puff but the it's magic static, dragon. So that's going to be there for the rest of your um, your uh, vocal track. Um, so instead of that, let's do a dynamic EQ. All right, so. Um, this is going to take just a little bit of tweaking. Uh, first, you do have to find the frequency that you're interested in, just like you did in the standard EQ8. Um, and this low band is conveniently enough um, right where we want it uh, right now, but you can adjust it using the frequency sweep here. Um, and as you can see, there are other bands, two other bands that you can um, adjust also. So let's work first just with the low band. Okay, so I'm going to increase the low gain knob here, which increases the responsiveness of that band. And let's see what it does. Puff the magic react, dragon. And there we go. There's some good response. Um, I also want to broaden this band. 
So let's bring your Q value down a bit. Puff the magic dragon. All right. Um, and then I'm also going to use the, um, the next band over the mid band. I'm going to bring that down almost right on top. Puff the magic dragon. Responsiveness. Puff the magic dragon. Well, that's not what we want, huh? Let's narrow that down. Puff the magic. And then tune to. Test. Puff the magic dragon. Puff the magic dragon. Puff the magic dragon. Puff the magic dragon. Puff the ma so I like that. Perfect. Eh, no, but a lot better than what we started with. And what's nice here is that we're not just totally eliminating these um, lower frequencies in the male uh, voice. Um, and we can still roll off using a static uh, uh, high pass filter, but I would suggest maybe doing more like 80s, 90s, somewhere in there. Puff the magic dragon. And that'll help um, take away the sub frequencies and the mud without taking away the weight of the male voice. Okay, so what is this uh, dynamic EQ actually doing? Um, the magic happens in this little compressed box there. So we're, we're basically splitting the um, incoming frequency into high, mid, and low bands uh, using different chains. And each of these chains has its own EQ3. The EQ3 is set up so that only the mid, uh, mid band is active, even you know high, mid, or low chain. They all have the mid band active. The reason being that that way we can um, really uh, zero in on the frequency that we want to target. So um, basically the incoming signal is split. Um, each chain has its own um, envelope follower. And as you can see, uh, let's do, let's look at the low. So as you can see, it's going to respond Puff only to the magic that frequency, dragon. which is super cool. And then, um, the envelope follower has its own gain adjustment. I actually wanted to be able to boost the gain even more, um, so I added a utility plugin or utility device just before that. Puff the magic dragon. So that's basically what we're adjusting here. Puff the ma puff the puff the ma puff 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 the ma puff the ma cool. Um, and then the uh, the signal is also sent through just an empty uh, dry chain straight to the EQ. That is what's being affected, and that's what we are hearing. So I wish that I could say that I came up with this all by myself, but really it was a group effort, thanks in large part to Arter. Thanks again, man. Um, I hope that this video helps some of you out there. Cheers and blessings.